I picked up this unfinished Easter truck at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to start by painting the entire thing in Higgins Lake. Uh, this is going to kind of remove any white and as you paint any imperfections kind of get hidden in the Higgins Lake since that's the color of the truck. Then I'm going to go in with my snow owl and paint my butt bunny and I'm going to paint each egg uh, smoky quartz, mandarina, bowie and then I'm going to mix republic red and white to create a pink. Once all the inside of my truck is painted, I'm going to take some of that Republic Red and White and dab the little pads of the bottom of the bunny's feet. And then I did go in and do a second coat on some of my eggs within the truck. All these paints come in two ounces at chalkitupfancy.com. They come in a set of six. Then I'm going to go in with my metallic uh, silver. It's heavy metals from Wise Owl. This also can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. And I'm going to paint the windshields with this, the headlights, the bumper. I'm just going to. Um, pass over with the brush, the tip of my brush. The step side of the truck and the center of the tires I also hit with the metallic silver. I'm really loving how this is coming out. This is so fun. I finished up the bumper with the metallic heavy metals from Wise Owl in the silver. And then I went in with the heavy metals in the Cleopatra gold. And any details I'm seeing in the eggs, whether it's polka dots, some stripes, some wavy stripes, uh, one of them has kind of like a leopard print. I'm just taking a very small paintbrush and I'm passing over these little details with the Cleopatra gold. Because everything is fully painted, I'm not worrying about perfection. So if you give this a try and you feel like you don't have a steady hand, your end results are going to be really, um, everything's going to work out fine. You know, if you just follow the steps. And I think a lot of you know where I'm going with this. And if you've seen me for the first time, uh, don't be shocked. But we're going to take care of any imperfections in a few minutes. So this is the leopard print. I just kind of dabbed along with my painter, my paintbrush. So this is what we have and I'm just going to finish up the tires. I just took some black and I'm kind of more dry brushing this on. I wasn't looking for full coverage. I just passed it around the tire. Around that outer edge. And I did both sides. Now I'm going to take my Wise Owl Salve and my 2-inch palm brush, both can be found at chalkitupfancy.com, and I'm going to cover the entire truck, but I am not going to wipe back. This is the trick to hiding your imperfections. Once that's fully covered, and I love the bristles on this palm brush because they're nice and long, so they're getting in all those nooks and crev crevices of the eggs in the back. I'm going to take some black, another long brush, and some 
misting water. This is a water with the little mist. And I'm going to do a wet application all over the truck. The salve is my barrier. So I don't have to be worried about doing this. It's that barrier that's going to help me pull back whatever I don't want. This is important. You need baby wipes. Something with baby wipes and paint, it removes it quite easily. And I just go around and I wipe back any of the black. And I'm leaving that black in all those nooks and crevices. So in that back with the eggs, anything that maybe touched each other or you didn't get perfect, that black is covering that. And you can actually use the black to cover intentional areas. So here we go. I'm really loving how this went. I'm going to let it dry. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfer, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.